What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing. I just finished up watching Florian Marku versus Yorick Luisetto, and this was an eight rounder in the welterweight division. And this fight was Saturday, November 20th from the SSC Arena in Wembley, London, England. And this fight was broadcasted on Sky Sports. And in this fight, Florian Marco was able to get a points decision victory over Yorick Luisetto. I personally scored about 80-72 to 72 in favor of Florian Marco. I thought he pissed a shutout with a couple of swing rounds, mainly just one swing round, actually. But, um, yeah, the referee who scored the bout, because obviously um, in the UK they do have... Um, Bouts where referees only score it. I mean, I don't agree with it, but the referees were at 78-75, which is an awful score. I hate it when the UK, they have 10-10 rounds, etc. I don't agree with that. I don't think there should be 10-10 rounds. I think it should go to either the winner or the loser of the round. But nonetheless, Florian Marku uh, won this fight pretty clear. I mean, Luisetto is not a good opponent in the slightest. I would have expected Marku to actually step up in competition here since his Maxime Prodan win, which is a very good win, might I say. But, I mean, he did, took a step lower. Um, I mean, this fight was really, every round was like the same, to be honest. Marku coming forward, landing some nice overhands. He was switching stances throughout the fight from southpaw to orthodox. Um, and he was just the one pressuring um, Luisetto. Sometimes Luisetto would try and pressure uh, Marku with his own shots, but it wasn't really working too well, and uh, Marku was able to easily take um, some of the shots Luis um, Luisetto would land, and he would just fire back his own, um, and Marku, his jab once again showed off here, his jab looked pretty good, like it did against the against Maxime Prodan, but um, yeah, here uh, he landed some nice shots, as I mentioned before, one every round, I mean, there was one competitive round, which is arguably the fifth round, where Marku was sort of taunting um, Luis Seto, and he was getting hit, actually, um, towards the middle to the end of that round, um, Marku put his hands out, like, come on, show me something, and then he actually was hit with a straight down the pipe, right, sort of the chin and the neck area, and then towards the end of the round, Luis Seto landed a nice combination, so, I mean, you possibly could have given that round to Luis Seto, but that was the only round, in my opinion, that you could have given to him. So, with that being said, um, what is next for Florian Marku? I would really love to see him step up in competition, possibly against a guy like Josh Kelly, Chris Congo, or maybe even Adrian Granados. Those would be interesting fights that he could possibly have next when it comes to stepping up. But as for Yorick Luisetto, he'll probably go back to fighting lower-level opponents in like France, other parts of Europe, etc. I don't really see much for him in his near future. I and mean, it's most likely going to be a lower tier level fight against an unknown opponent. So overall, Florian Marku defeats Yorick Luisetto by unanimous decision to get another um, unanimous de to get another decision victory and another victory of this year. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.